Hello, hello, good evening. It's Monica from Life is Art, and it's Sunday. Let's create. It's almost Monday, and so we are going to be working on a layout this evening because Sundays are usually reserved for doing some scrapbooking, and so that's what we're going to be doing tonight. And I just realized my camera is kind of like wonky doodle. <laughs> And I don't, I could probably not fix it, but that's okay. It's all right. It's a little askew. Life's like that sometimes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we are, um, taking a look at the Beach Party collection again today. And we are going to be creating a single page layout, but it's going to incorporate five photos, five photos on a single page. Good morning, Karen. Yeah, it's evening here, but it's morning for you. And good morning, or good evening, Carol. <laughs> I got stuck on mornings. Nice to see you guys watching. If you're popping on to watch, just say hello or howdy. And if you're watching later on replay, just say replay. So one of the resources that Close to My Heart has had over the years are different books of layouts and card sketches and wonderful things. And so, you know what? I pulled out one of my books the other day and I was flipping through it and I thought, you know what? Hey, Heather. Um, some of these, they may seem kind of dated, you know. It's a lot of the things that we don't really do anymore in scrapbooking. Or maybe we do, but we've kind of changed it up a bit, right? And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to pull it out one of the layouts and I'm going to do it today, but I'm going to kind of update it with the papers that I'm using. So I'm doing this one. It's called Sidebar. And I'm making it as a single page, but you could definitely turn it into a double page, no problem. And so if you take a look at this, and this is the, um, the one that's like on the, the original one, and then they give you a whole bunch of different ways of working a sidebar and yeah so I that's what I'm going to be working on and so from that I pulled in things from the beach party collection that we've been using hey Shannon nice to see you're watching and so I'm going to start with a base page of one of the coordinating cardstocks and that is the gorgeous sapphire one of my favorite colors because you know me I love my blues and then we're going to coordinate it with something that um, I think it's called a complementary color. <laughs> it's one of the other primaries, actually, primary color. And we're going to use this pattern paper from the Beach Party collection. And this one is a Sundance basket weave. It's a really beautiful pattern, nice and subtle. It's not too in your face. So when you put it down on your layout, it just kind of blends in with everything. The back side is this fun water one. And you know that since we're using Beach Party, we're probably going to be using some watery photos, which we are. And I will show you them to you when we get to them. I'm going to leave it as a bit of a surprise. <laughs> they're a little bit older, some of these, or all of these photos. They're, they're a little bit older, but that's okay. Um... Nice to finally get some things scrapbooked, right? We don't always get them done when they happen. So I'm going to put this down on my page about a half inch in from the edges, just like that. And this piece was cut to 7 inches by 11 inches. I just put it a little bit crooked. Ah, you know, there are days. <laughs> the camera's a little crooked, so the page is a little crooked. It's all good. And then I'm bringing in another piece because we're doing this sidebar and this is our sidebar for our page. And this piece has been cut to um, three and a half by 11 inches. So our big piece is seven by 11 and this one is three and a half by 11. And so we shall put this one down again, half an inch in from the edges like there we go and that looks lovely so we're starting we've got our base started hey Pamela nice to see you this evening 
And then we're going to bring in some other stuff. This is going to be a really fast layout today, I think, um, because it's it's nice sometimes to go and pull out those sketches and things. Even when we do our crops, you know, save the sketches and keep them for later use, even if you don't get to them during the crop. But you know what? You can use the same sketch over and over again. Now, I also wanted to bring in this really fun paper from the Beach Party collection that's sort of like a top-down sort of drone view of the beach. It's got everybody's colorful towels and the tops of all the beach umbrellas and the flip-flops and the crabs and the seagulls and all the things, but no people. And I think it's kind of cool that way. And I think I even put adhesive on this one. So this piece was cut to two and a quarter by 11 inches. The back side is this fun one with all the beach goers out in the water. That's why the beach is so empty, because they're all out in the water having fun. <laughs> See how that works? And so what we're going to do is we're going to line this up right in the center of this piece of Sundance basket weave and just lay that down there on like that. And then I wanted to bring in a little bit of sparkle because we need some sparkle. And so I look at these tiny little strips. These are thin little 1 8 strips of blue bell glitter paper. And we are going to add those on here. And to do that, I'm just going to put my glue right, my liquid glue, right down on the pattern paper because it's the easiest way to get these glittery strips attached. So there's one strip. And let's see if I can pick it up. It's so tiny. So tiny, but so cute. And you know what? I could have cut a large piece of glitter paper that would just go underneath the um, the beachy scene. But, you know, why waste your glitter paper when you can just put a little strip? A little strip will do ya. And then we will add some on this other side too. One eighth of an inch. Put my glue all the way down, like so. It's so much easier than me trying to get, uh, <laughs> trying to get glue onto this thin little strip. And there we go. Just adding that. Oops, I wandered. Wandering. Everybody's wandering. I'm gonna sing now. <laughs> Okay, so there, that's creating a fun little uh, um, exciting moment on the side of our page. And it seems so dark in the video. Let me just adjust my light there. I was trying to avoid the lights having too much shine on here because um, when I bring the photos in later, that tends to create a lot of glare. But I don't want it to be so dark that you can't see what I'm doing. Hey, Jennifer, nice to see you're watching. Okay, so let's add a little something over here because we got some nice pizzazz going on on this side. Let's add something to the left and I've got this zip strip of all these fun sunglasses and I've cut it down to um, 11 inches in length but I also trimmed it a little bit from side to side. So instead of being a half inch, it's now three eighths of an inch. And I've got my adhesive on here already. I'm going to put this on here with the sunglasses facing in towards the page, like so. Stick that all down. Sometimes you have to take your time with that. And then we can't forget about this side. We're gonna have to bring in some bling. So I've got another eighth of an inch strip of the glitter paper, the blue bell, to add onto this side. So again, just going with my liquid glue right down the page so quick and easy and let's add our glitter I was actually playing around with the stamp and thin cuts the scrapbooking stamp and thin cuts maybe I'll show you what I did um, I made a little embellishment because I thought ooh glitter wouldn't it be cute to have little glitter sunglasses so I actually took the Bluebell glitter paper and the thin cut and I cut out a little pair of glittery sunglasses 
and then I stamped it on the back and cut out the center of the stamped image to create the, the things and then I put some majestic holographic paper in behind there to make it so nice and shiny and bright. <laughs> Um, but then it didn't quite suit the layout, so I'm not going to use it for this, but I'll use it for something else for sure. If not, I'll give it to Julia and she'll bedazzle something with it because it's just so fun. So then I want to start um, adding in some decoration on this side, and I need a journaling spot to journal what my photos are about. And so I took one of the Picture My Life cards, and this was a 3 by 4 Picture My Life card, that had an, a bigger border all the way around. So what I did was I trimmed it down so that I just left a little bit of the stripe and then curved the corners just to make it a little bit smaller because I didn't want to take it a huge amount of space. Then I took a second Picture of My Life card and this was actually from a four by six Picture of My Life card and I cut, um, cut it to match and with the curved edges, <laughs> curved edges, and so that one's ready to go as well. So I'm going to just go ahead and add some adhesive to this. And I think I'm going to even add a bit of foam tape. No, I'm not going to do foam tape because then it'll be too hard to do my um, journaling afterwards. I'm just going to go ahead with the adhesive. And I will stick these two on kind of layered up. Kind of like little tags. Yes, Karen, I do need to get a light diffuser. It's on my things to do list. <laughs> oh no, Jennifer. Oh, the internet has been such a pain lately. It just comes and goes at random willy nilly, it seems. So I'm going to go ahead and layer these two up, kind of overlapping on each other like that. And then I'm going to add them to the layout. You know what? I think I'm gonna even I'm gonna tip them even more. So I'm gonna take this top one off and just add that on there like that. Nice little journaling spot. And then we need a title for our page. And so bringing in the sticker sheet, I love this sun and fun title. So that's what we're going for on our layout today. We're gonna to do sun and fun. And I was trying to decide if I was going to pop it up on foam tape, and I couldn't decide. So I'm going to kind of, because I didn't take it off the sheet, to kind of give it a look. And I think, yes, I am going to pop it up on some foam tape. <laughs> Sometimes you have to look at it in full living color to, to make your decision, right? So I'm going to go ahead and add some foam tape, and I'm adding the regular thickness of foam tape to this. And I'm going to use some of the skinnier stuff to stick down some of the narrower bits. And add it on to here. <laughs> Karen says, yes, up and up. You definitely want to do that. Good. I'm glad you agree with me. Because I want to have some distance from the busy pattern paper that's below, right? Sometimes you have to kind of look at it with the actual item. Sometimes when I'm preparing things ahead of time, I think, oh, I'll do it this way. And then when I'm actually doing it, I'm like, no, 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 that's not how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I need a little something else. So there, we've added some. We're gonna add a few bigger chunks here. And you know what's gonna happen next. We're gonna get out our anti-static pouch and we're gonna de-stickify our sticker a little bit so that it doesn't get pushed down and stuck all funky on our page. And I'm going to do this off to the side a little bit so I don't get anything on my nice sapphire cardstock. And I just take my anti-static pouch and pounce it on my whew, sticker. <laughs> and that will de-stickify it, basically turning it into a die cut. It's so funny. We, we love our stickers, but then we turn them into die cuts. <laughs> because they're so nice and sturdy. You can totally do that. And then I need to take all the backing off my foam tape. That's the important thing to remember when you're doing that trick, is don't take your backing off your foam tape, because you still want your foam tape to be able to stick after you've done all that de-stickifying. 
So we'll just peel it all off. We used a lot. Now, no, don't necessarily have to peel it all off. Really, if you had three or four pieces, it's, it's going to hold your title down. There's no worries about that. So there we have our sun and fun. And we're just going to add that on there like so. Sun and fun. How cool is that? Yes, definitely. Because of the busyness behind it and the sparkle and everything, you want to kind of create those shadows to bring out the the title a little bit clearer. And I like, too, that it has that UV coating on it. I, you can probably see it in the lights, those shiny little bits that make it look like it's got sun rays on it. So fun. And then let's bring in the photos. Okay, I've been avoiding the photos to the end, uh, or till near the end, so that you don't have to stare at the, um, the glare. So these photos that I'm bringing in are photos of my three kids, and I was figuring out their ages, and Justin would have been almost 10, um, about a month and a bit from being 10. So Joshua would be eight, going on nine, and Julia was one, almost two. She was probably about a month away from her birth, second birthday. So <laughs> we had this um, sandbox, and it's a sandbox that looks like it's made out of stonework, and it, it was maybe, I don't know, 10 inches deep, and we never had sand in it. From the time we got it till the time we got rid of it, <laughs> It only ever had water. It was like our little pool, right? It was nice and safe for the kids because it had lots of grip on the bottom and, and you could cover it up and it was just perfect. And But at this point, when we were looking at this, we were like, at this point, we pretty much need to get a bigger pool because <laughs> they don't really fit all in there so well anymore. When they were, you know, almost 10, almost 9, and almost 2, they were getting a little... A little squishy for all of them to be in there. Now, we did keep it for a couple more years, but, you know, it was getting a little bit squishy. Just a smidge. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these down. And, you know, my kids always played well together. So, you know, you can tell. They were happy. They were wet. They were cooler. You know, it was all good. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up, and I'm going to put this photo right along that zip strip. And then these photos, I might just slightly overlap the zip strip, just a smidge. This photo here, Justin's <laughs> giving Julia a funny face. He's kind of trying to lay down in the pool. I think he was probably saying, hey, can you move over a bit? You know, like, give me a little more space. I'm bigger than you. And then this one, I think it's hilarious. Joshua is like turning his face away like, ah! And Julia is splashing like crazy. She's got her feet going and her hands going and she's got her mouth hanging open. She's like, ee! And Justin's probably getting in on the splashing too. But I think that's just so cute that they were just having a, having a hoot. A hoot in the pool. <laughs> yes, Lisa. De-stickifying. I just realized that there were comments. I you know, eventually I look. De-stickifying. I love that word. That's you, you do that with kids, too, when they've been into the things and you have to wash their hands and face. You're de-stickifying them. Yeah, it's my it's my Monica-ism. You're right, Karen. I'm sure other people have used it. Okay, so then in this photo, you can see the funny look on Joshua's face. So Julia's sitting here all innocent like Justin is giving her bunny ears, so he's laughing, ha, 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 I'm giving bunny ears. Well, Joshua's in the back doing the same to Justin. He's got the bunny ears, so he's laughing even harder. <laughs> they were all doing bunny ears on each other. Gotta love it. Siblings. And so we're going to stick that one on there. So my photos, the one in the center is a 4 by 6 and then these other four are approximately three by threes. So because I'm leaving this little gap here in the center, that's why I'm kind of shifting it over a smidge just to give, um, give it a little bit more space and so that it doesn't stick over quite as much on this side. But it's not, it's kind of giving it a little bit more fluidity, I guess, because it's not so stuck <laughs> in a straight line. 
Um, so let's bring in some more stickers because we've got some fabulous stickers on here. And the one that I really need is the Making a Splash because we're definitely putting this up here by Miss Julia, Making a Splash. So we're just going to add that on there like that, Making a Splash. And then we've got this Just Add Water. And I thought that would be kind of cool down here on our journaling, just like that. Just add water. And then we've also got this one that says, Admit One Endless Summer. And I think that would be kind of cool too. In fact, I probably should have tucked that on here before I put that one. So we're going to tuck that on there like that. Kind of layering it all up there. I think that's cool. Now we've got three things kind of fanned out like that. And then I also wanted to figure out a spot to tuck this little umbrella. I thought it was kind of cool. And I thought maybe I could tuck it in there. Maybe up on the title. Kind of had no real set plan, obviously. But wanting to add it somewhere. Somewhere. I think it's kind of fun up here, the fun in the sun, but I'm not sure which side I want it to go on. If I put it on this side, I'd have to tuck it in a little bit like that. That might not be bad. That looks all right, but I think I'll pop it up with just a little bit of foam tape just to give it a bit of dimension. We did um, the, the thick kind on here, so we can use this the thinner kind on the umbrella because one of the people in this picture has red hair <laughs> and so fun in the sun for her requires shade now luckily where we were you can probably see the little stairs there we were living in a basement apartment and the um the deck above was kind of, you can see they're kind of half in the shade, half in the sun. This picture, they're a little bit more shaded. So that was nice because we had this nice patio under here, but then they got the shade from, from above. So let's go ahead and do our same trick over here with the anti-static pouch, like so. Whoops. And I just saw something sitting on my desk that I had, I'm just taking this, the backing off, if you're wondering what I'm doing here. Um, <laughs> I just saw something on my desk that I was supposed to drop off at Ina's the other night. Ina, I missed it. I'll get it to you next time. <laughs> so let's tuck our little umbrella in there like that and have it kind of hanging over the edges. Oh, so cool. Love that. And then we also have some pool floaties. And even though, you know, we're not in a big pool and they did not need um, floaties, you know, it's kind of the effect, right? We're just kind of making the effect of playing in a big pool. So let's grab our little floaties here and take a look at what we want to do. I think that would be kind of cute. Having it come up like that. But we'll need to add a little foam tape, maybe. There's my foam tape. Somewhere I have... Oh, there's the other one. That's the one I want. This one's the narrower one. Oh, it's even brand new. Look at that. Brand new foam tape. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't know why I get so excited about brand new foam tape. Yes, Lisa, that's one thing I wanted to mention, that this, um, it's a single page. So if you're the kind of person who takes oodles of photos, and you know what, these are photos of all the exact same thing happening, all three of them sitting in, um, sitting in a little pool, right? Like there's not a lot of variation, there's just little cute things that they're doing. So if you're somebody who takes a lot of photos, this is a great layout. And if you duplicated it, made it double, you could have on the second page, just do the mirror image and add a whole nother five, right? Then, of course, you could even add flip flaps to add more. 
so many ways, but I like that even though it's only a single page layout, um, it definitely gets a lot of coverage with photos. And I have a few other photos from about the same time of them having a um, water balloon fight in the backyard, like same location, everything. And so I'm thinking that I'm going to make a second page and probably do it as a mirror type image, um, do a second page to match. But for tonight, I thought, you know what, we'll just make one. We'll just make one. And you know what, it doesn't even have to be mirrored on the left. This could be the left page, right? Because we've got our nice little title in the center. And then you could do the second page with a full um, one of these and add photos in on top of it. It doesn't have to be broken up the same way that this page was. Lots of different things that you could do to add in a second page. Because I know a lot of you um, don't really do the single page layout thing, right? <laughs> You're more, um, you know, I'm a double page layout kind of person. I need my double pages. So we try to try to give ideas of what you could do to accomplish that. I'm just looking for my thicker foam tape. Ah, thicker foam tape. Add this fun little donut on. I love these non-stick scissors. I know I say it like every time I craft, but they're the bestest. They make life so easy. I'm going to get really good and powdery tonight. <laughs> if you hear me coughing, <laughs> it's from all the little powdery goodness. <coughs> you shouldn't breathe heavily while you're doing that because, you know. So let's layer <coughs> that up there like that. Pardon me. Going to take a sip of water. Ah, oh, Drace, nice to see you're watching. Shannon, glad you're loving it. We're going to bring in a few more things. I like this pail and bucket. There's nothing really pale and buckety happening, but I think that would add a nice little something in here. So I'm going to add that. I need some foam tape. Put some thick foam tape at the bottom and then some thinner foam tape at the top because we're going on top of things that have already got foam tape on them. I think the pail and shovel kind of is cute because it's a nod to the fact that they're, they're actually in a sandbox. A sandbox that was never full of sand. <laughs> so there we go. We've added our shovel and our pail. And then I thought this was kind of cute. This little moment here with the kids when they were all doing bunny ears on each other, you know. So our, right on here, we have this little LOL. And I thought that would be cute. And then there's also this little arrow. And then maybe one of these little wavy swirls. We're going to make like a little, a little cluster of things happening here. So let's put our little cluster like that we will add a little bit of thin foam tape on our lol and i'm not going to even do the de-stickifying because it's such a tiny little sticker it won't make a difference do you ever find when you're crafting that you have like your fingers full of stickers <laughs> a sticker on every finger <clears throat> And then we'll add some of the thicker foam tape like that. Do, 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 do. Make a nice little cluster of things. And I don't need quite all of that. There we go. That down over there. Now I'm talking to myself. I always get to the point in the layout when I start talking to myself. So there's our little, 
our little cluster of things happening over there. And then I am trying to remember if I was bringing anything else in. We've got other arrows. We've got other squir squirrels. Swirls. I love these waves. I'm going to have to do a layout. And that's why I'm kind of reserving the sandcastle. I thought about using the sandcastle because of the whole um, sandbox thing. But I think I'm going to reserve that because... Um, I have photos of Julia at the beach and they were building sandcastles. So now I have these fun little rubber shapes. Hey Robin, nice to see you watching. And so let's see, we've got some little sunglasses, we've got some little stars. Why don't we put a little bit of sunglasses up here with our making a splash, just like that. Maybe we got the little beach ball here. We could tuck that in here somewhere like that. Maybe a couple of the little stars. Put one down there. And do we want some flip flops? Flip flop floppies. Why not? Let's add some flippity floppities. We'll put them right here by the making a splash. Just like that. Just a whole pair of flip flops. Nice. And let's also add some little stars over here into our little cluster of cluster of fun. Oh, that covers up Joshua's fingers. Can't put it exactly there. How about right there? <laughs> Don't want to cover it up. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it for now. So there we have our fun um, page that we've created. And look at that. I made it through a whole page without fussy cutting anything. I didn't stamp anything. Uh, what else? Yeah. I <laughs> Can you believe it? I got through a whole page without stamping or fussy cutting. We were sticking with the paper and sticker sheet, which is fabulous. So many details on that sticker sheet. Added in a little bit of a glitter paper. We added our pattern paper on top of our blue sapphire background. Adding in this fun pattern paper in behind, which we only see a hint of, but it really adds a lot of interest to the page. And of course, glitter paper, then our fun stickers even layering up stickers and making a nice little cluster of all good things happening here, um, using the words to highlight some photos and things that are happening and the LOLs. I think that's super fun. And of course, the rubber shapes. So we used our Picture My Life cards, our paper and our sticker sheet, and our rubber shapes and our coordinating cardstock to create this whole layout with just the simple addition of a couple little tiny, tiny strips of blue belt glitter paper how fun is that i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys feel inspired because i know i've heard from a lot of people that they're surprised how many of the stickers i use up because <laughs> uh, i try to use all the stickers by the time i'm done working with a collection and so i'm challenging you guys that if you're buying the paper and stickers that you go right ahead and use those stickers, right? Don't feel like, oh, I don't want to, you know, I, I'll just use one or two. Nope. Go ahead, layer them on there, use them up. That's what they're there for. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday night, and we will see you again soon. All right. Toodaloo. Bye.